Hi, my name is Zach Jennings. I work at Bar 409 in Puck Food Hall, and I'm gonna make a cocktail today with the natural Bali from Dr. Beans, which is upstairs. Um, first, I'm gonna show you how to coffee wash some Cabernet. This is gonna be kind of the espresso base to this drink, which is almost like a riff on an espresso martini, very roughly. So we're gonna take that 20 grams of coarsely ground coffee and pop it right in your shaker tin. Then we're gonna take four ounces of this 19 Crimes Cabernet and pop it right in the shaker tin with the coffee. Now, you only need two ounces for this recipe, but uh, the coffee is gonna suck up quite a bit of that wine. So you're gonna to wanna to put four ounces to get kind of like a two and a half to three ounce yield. So we're gonna pop that in the shaker, so tins, and then just dry shake that for about 10 seconds. And what this does is it just like, uh, releases all the oils in the coffee and infuses the wine. So it's gonna make a little bit of a mess for sure. But you get this really crazy product. So you see as it goes through, you'll see that head start to form there. And that's all the oils from the coffee marrying with all the oils of the wine. So we're gonna let that do its thing for a second. Rinse our cans. So with that, we'll start building into our mixing glass. Get rid of that strainer. We're gonna take two ounces of that coffee mixture and pop it into our mixing glass. So right to the top, two straight in. Then we are gonna take an ounce and a half of Pimpara on a Versario. It is a Venezuelan dark rum, and it's gonna be our alcohol base for the cocktail, along with half an ounce of Cachaça 61. Brazilian sugar cane spirit. Ooh. It's real funky, so you don't really want to overdo it on the cachaça, otherwise it'll kind of dominate the drink. Now that we have that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and take Hoodoo, which is a chicory liqueur from New Orleans and where the drink gets its name. We're gonna put half an ounce in the mixing glass, along with half an ounce of simple syrup. And that's gonna be our sugar base for this cocktail. So now that we have all our ingredients in, we're gonna take some ice and just give it a good stir. Oh, a little too much ice. Gonna stir and dilute that. It's still pretty, there's still some particulates in there, but we're gonna filter it like two more times before uh, it hits a glass. So let's strain that off right back into that mixing glass. And we're gonna dry shake it. And what that's gonna do is give it like a nice texture and it's gonna aerate all the ingredients. Pop that back in our tin and give that a good 10 second shake. Beautiful. Take a Collins glass and fill it with ice. We're gonna strain our cocktail in there and shaking it that second time has given this nice foam that collects right on top of the drink. And we're gonna double strain that. Right there. Last couple touches are gonna be 
a quarter ounce float of Amaro Montenegro, which is going to be a sweeter Amaro akin to like Maletti and not really bitter like Fernet or Chenard. And then the zest of a lemon, about the size of your thumb. Express that and rim the glass, discard. Take a dehydrated lemon, pop it right in there. And that's the drink.